you're coming into our campus and you're supposed to be able to have the freedom of speech definitely but if you're infringing on someone else's quality of life or uh, their rights then that's not okay make any sense to you of course not that's a university of regina student one of many who was celebrating the police arresting someone on campus for saying things they didn't like to hear welcome back to the source i'm Ezra levant slamming the book on free speech Universities are meant to be a place of skepticism, debate, learning how to deal with new and difficult ideas. So why are some Canadian universities bringing in censorship and speech codes like that young lady loves? Well, the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms has released their annual Campus Freedom Index, outlining which universities are threatened by administrations and student unions. John Carpe, the president of the Justice Center, joins me now from Calgary. Hey, John, welcome to the show. You know, I remember the footage of Bill Whatcott literally being arrested and handcuffed because he said politically incorrect things on campus. That was shocking. But to hear the clapping and cheering of students like that young girl there who said, well, free speech is one thing, but you can't upset my feelings. Young people, I am afraid, no longer value free speech as much as they have in the past in the 60s and 70s, let's say. It's a pretty sad development and I think these students haven't thought through the consequences of empowering governments or government authorities like universities with that rate of censorship because um, that same power can be used. The students who were applauding, uh, if, if they want to collectively or if one of them wants to advocate an opinion that maybe only 30% or 10% or 1% of Canadians agree with, then they're also in danger of getting handcuffed and carted away. Yeah. And We're showing the handcuffing right now, literally armed police officers coming in, not because these people were violent or threatening violence, but because they said words that made some people politically uncomfortable. That is shocking. Well, let's get to your report, okay? Because every year you scrutinize university campuses and you separate two different sources of censorship, the official grown-up university administration, but the student politicians and their student unions too. Let's start with the, well, let's start with the best. Let's start on a positive note. What are the universities that have the best record for free speech in Canada? Well, in terms of his policies, the University of Toronto has got very good written policies. They have an anti-interruption policy that expressly states that you're not allowed to disrupt somebody else's event. You can't, uh, you know, block access to the to the doors and shout down the speaker uh, because that's not a legitimate right of your own free expression rights. You don't have a right to silence somebody else. Um, unfortunately, U of T on the practices side uh, last year charged almost a thousand dollars in security fees to a men's issues awareness group to uh, provide protection from potentially violent uh, and, and angry feminists who uh, were going to be shutting down the event. And so that use of security fees is, is problematic. That's incredible. Just, I mean, put the shoe on the other foot. Imagine if there was a women's group that was having a meeting and they were told, well, sorry, little ladies, we need to hire thousands of dollars worth of police to protect you from bullying men. That, that's unthinkable that women would be charged to protect them from men, but that a men's group would be charged to protect them from potentially violent women. That is a form of censorship. That's sort of a Jim Crow form of censorship. It's not called censorship, it's called a security fee, but it's the same purpose. That's a gross case. That's a U of T also, you say, eh? Yeah, so the same university's got an anti-disruption policy, but then they say, but you, you have to pay for its enforcement, even though you're already paying with your tuition fees, and even though the University of Toronto receives uh, over a billion tax dollars each year to, to run its operations. Mm. And for, for your typical student group, they can't afford uh, $1,000 or even $500 for, um, uh, to pay for security. So what it does is it prices unpopular speech out of existence yeah, on incredible. campus. Well, give me, uh, we, you, you said U of T has some good rules, but some bad practices. Let's look at the absolute worst cases. We have a list here taken from your, from your report of the worst schools. Let's put that on the screen now. Uh, tell me what goes on, for example, in Cape Breton or, or Lakehead or McGill University. These are some schools that are getting Ds. I see some Fs there also. University of Ottawa does not surprise me that Allen Rock School 
has an F. Can you give me some uh, scenarios or some examples from these universities? Well, at McGill University, there was an incident uh, last year where somebody, one of the members of the Student Society Executive had circulated a uh, political comedy, political satire video that pictured uh, President Obama. It was spoofed. Um, President Obama going through a very calm news conference, and then on his way out, he, he, he kicked in the door. And this student, student union executive was reprimanded for his insensitivity in promoting stereotypes about black men and had to go through sensitive sensitivity training I said that was this a hilarious the, comedy clip it was a, I mean it was I saw it was a very funny from late night TV I mean, it's just the idea that he would have to be uh, sensitized for I mean because someone didn't get the joke that's so late I should tell you that I spoke at McGill last year and my entire event was disrupted by a few Marxists and and no one lifted a finger because I was talking about ethical oil, so naturally I could be shut up, not just by a handful of, I don't know if I would call them violent, but they were, they were blocking things, but the administration didn't give a damn because I was a conservative. You try that against a uh, Planned Parenthood group on campus, uh, you see how fast the com cops come and do it. And that's the thing, is it's really one way, isn't it? You don't see, tell me if I'm wrong, but I was talking to Andrew McCarthy on the show about this the other day, is the kind of censorship uh, do both left and right practice it? I'm not saying it's never done by conservatives, but have you had any examples of right-wingers censoring left-wingers, or is it all the other way around these days? It, it is very one-sided, and universities do get low marks in the Campus Freedom Index if they fail to uphold the rule of law on campus, and that, that's particularly problematic when it, it comes to, um, to pro-life groups. But it's also other groups. Uh, there is a student, student union in, um, at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg that banned the, um, the, the Palestinian rights group, the anti-Israeli apartheid group, banned not because of misbehavior or misconduct of the members, which would be a legitimate reason for banning a club, but purely because its, its views and opinions made people feel uncomfortable. And we see it with men's issues awareness groups at uh, Ryerson and University of Toronto, which uh, they deny the, the right of the men's issues club to get a uh, campus club certified. And if you don't have that certification, you're not allowed to host events on campus. Mm. So it, it, is, it is very one-sided and, uh, you know, but it's been said the best disinfectant is sunlight. So we, we hope that our index with the letter grades um, is going to be measuring this because, yeah. it, as you know, if, if it matters, measure it. John, we're out of time today. It's great to have you on the show. And thanks, by the way, for fighting for freedom for us out in Nanaimo. You were a key reason that that bigoted city hall backed down on their ban of Christians in the, in the city conference center. We'll keep in touch with you, that's for sure.